Kent and Medway is perfectly placed to strengthen its own local economy, but also help the UK tackle some of the global challenges we face collectively. We're working together with the University of Kent and the University of Greenwich in trying to develop a plan of activities to engage with industry. Our objective is to transform the food industry as a leader in green and sustainable agri-tech and biotechnology. There's a demand to double food supply globally. We produce 40% of the horticultural products that the country consumes and 80% of fresh food comes into the UK through Kent ports. Horticulture is a very diverse industry. It is also a very high-tech industry, demanding significant innovative inputs to yield high outputs. Climate change will impose an urgency in accelerating some of the innovation we need. How we want to use water, how we want to use fertilizers, how we want to protect our crops. One of our main goals is to reduce carbon emission from field to fork. One of the overarching aim of Growing Kent and Medway is to set up an innovation cluster for UK's horticulture, food and drink industries. We are involved in two kinds of activities. One of them, a kind of innovation advisory and support services, and basically a mentoring program for startup. Our role is to bring outside influences into that so that we grow employment but we bring ideas and further investment from around the world into the cluster. The programme will deliver 1,700 new jobs over the next 10 years and around £39 million of economic growth annually. How are we going to grow more with less and less land, less input? I think that's going to be a key driver for the future in horticulture. What excites me about Grand Kent and Medway is the opportunity for real change in the sector, improve and innovate in food production, crop production and manufacturing of products. This isn't just about Kent getting better and sharing more ideas. This is about putting us front and centre with the international scene around growing and producing food.